looking back at your past and and I mean, there's just such, I mean, like everyone's life, right? Your past is so connected to your present and so connected to the decisions that we make in the end. Um, but what's a nice, you know, what's a nice um, message or should I say a nice way of thinking that we can leave people with in terms of um, bringing the past and the present together to create meaning and purpose? Um, I would say, you know, love your heart. Um, I mean, I think there's so much power. I mean, even, even biologically, the heart is much stronger than any of our other organs by far. And that, you know, I don't believe you have to love yourself first for others to love you. I, I, that's another whole long conversation, but I, 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 th I think getting, have, you know, having con connection with your own heart is, is the only place to really start because from there there's so much power that can be generated to go through whatever it is that you need to go through um, to get to the next place that you need to in your life in, on, in, in every way. So um, I think that that's, that's a more simple way to think of things rather than getting into do this, do that, do the other thing. Mm -hmm. Right, just take the time to feel to feel into that place for yourself. Yeah, yeah, nice. not even self love, just your heart. Just yeah, care about your your heart, and it will yeah. power so much more. And help you, you find what? out where what you need. What was and the help last you thing? find out where you need to go. Give you mm. give you the motivation and, and strength to go get get what you need to yeah. heal. And then on a practical level, because I'm quite practical, uh, so in order to do that, I know you've mentioned that you swim and you meditate. Now, I'm a mom and I'm struggling to keep my routine right now with any exercise and meditation, which I can do for an hour, give me the time, but I don't have that time right now. I really don't. Like I'm spread so thin with the show and trying to be there as a mom. You know, I've got a nanny that I – you know, that I, I get on an ad hoc basis. I don't just have a full-time nanny and that's my choice because um, I want to be there, you know. I really want to be there. And, the, and and that's when I hear your story, I really do feel a genuine deep sense of sadness. Um, and obviously as an interviewer, I disconnect from that, you know, to, to conduct an interview that can lead to a place of, um, well, relevance for the listener you know so I disconnect myself from that but I am a mom and I really do you know I do feel your story and but now on a practical level I'm hearing you and it's my job to make sure that this has relevance to the listener um what about those moms that don't have the time you know to do that swim in the morning to just break away from those you know crazy mental cycles or or to meditate you know what about us Well, there's no way to get find 10, 20 minutes to meditate. I mean, I, I think it has, it has to be. It has to. You have to. Do you have, have a three-year-old? Because then you'll be much more present. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> no, but no, Do listen. The, I... Do you have like any support systems where somebody for like 15 minutes? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I, when I worked for foster care, I was incredible. The systems that some of these women, some of them had like six, seven foster kids and they had like the older ones taking care of the younger ones. And I mean, I, I don't know a three-year-old, right? I, so I, 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 yeah, <laughs> so I, I can't speak to that. Um, I, I, I can't really speak to that. Not having been a mom, I'll, I'll try to create a game where if you all can, you know, maybe on a weekend, <laughs> yeah, be able to release and talk about just each other that in mind. Maybe there's somebody out there who has better of a guidance than I can, obviously, right now. <laughs> but bear that in mind when you're creating those cards that moms just don't have time. <laughs> so make sure okay, you have on the well, uh, 
Exactly. Have on the instructions. The, the first instruction is that they need to find just 10 minutes somewhere, somehow. Like that's the promise they're making, you know, in buying these cards. No, but it's um, – I, I totally get what you're saying. And, you know, even while you were saying it, you know, if you just sit, even just while you were talking about the fact that one needs to focus on the heart, right, just even hearing that – you know, because we're human, we're clever, you know, we, we've got a brain. So while I'm hearing you say that, I'm already thinking about the heart. And by just even thinking about the heart, it brings me closer to my heart and what my heart needs, you know. So um, that it's that's great because it's um, it, it's true. So I and have it's something. Nice. My... Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. I'm so no, sorry. No, no, no. Carry on. Carry on. A friend of mine has a three-year-old grandson who actually meditates with his mom. Okay. And he loves it. <laughs> I'm not saying all children are going to love that. <laughs> not saying that. Not saying that. But are you sure? that, I just thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure she didn't put the iPhone down there or whatever phone and, you know, she's like actually putting know, a little program on? <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> it's... it's so. It's it's a bad it's it's a bad excuse. Everyone can find ten minutes, and but but what's relevant in what you were saying is not to say listen do a hundred list of things, but it's just about listen to the heart. And you know, in terms of you know people who are trying to find their way forward, um, and people who have come from a bad space, people who have had tragedy in their lives, um, you know, whatever that level of tragedy may be, it's just about you know taking that time to really just. Be aware, I guess, of the heart. And you can do that even sitting on the toilet, right? I mean, there's always 10 minutes somewhere in the day, you know. Um, 